Hello, I'm Adam Barrelay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video we're exploring the crystal Brazilianite. This beautiful yellow greeny crystal, which is a bit of a rare one, but it's definitely worth searching for. Now Brazilianite was first found in Madagascar. No, it was found in Brazil first and hence its name. Now it combines the energies of yellow, which is intellect, and green, which is love. And in this day and age where we need to live more cooperatively and more harmoniously together, it helps us to think with our heart and to be really wise in that way. So in this video, I want to explain to you how Brazilianite can help to bring more harmony into all different aspects of your life. I love the interplay between the yellow and the green rays in this crystal and it really helps with that intellect of the heart. It helps when in this new age we can be really compassionate and loving people and wanting to help as many people as we can. But often we can be a bit too over enthusiastic and what we end up doing is doing for them what we feel they need rather than what they actually do need. Brazilianite helps you to be smart about this and to actually feel into what they need and to talk to them and fulfill their needs. Just because we think they need something, that may not be part of their journey. And so working with Brazilianite can really do that. It also helps, it has a real joyous energy about it. And so it really helps to illuminate that sense of inner radiance and to shine so that you inspire other people around you. The best way to motivate other people is to be a shining example rather than telling them what to do. I'm sure you've been told throughout your life by different people what you should do. And how do we react to that? So this helps us to lead by example, really shine brightly. And so working with Brazilianite can just be one step to making this world a better place, one step at a time. It, because of its yellow energy in here, it is also quite joyous. And it can also help you to love whatever you're doing. So if you're finding your work or your occupation a bit mundane at the moment, or tasks that you need to do, wearing or carrying Brazilianite at the time can help you find the love and the joy, maybe the higher purpose in that. It really helps with self-expression as well. So if you're any type of performer or writer, this can be a great one. Now, because it gives love and strength of that solar plexus and that heart working them together, it can help you to be quite brave and to take risks, especially in love. So if there's someone that you're interested in, instead of waiting to see if they're interested or that type of thing, get with your Brazilianite and jump in there and ask them out on that date first. Take that first move and take some risks. Be bold with the heart working with your Brazilianite. In the physical body, Brazilianite is really good at helping to bring things back into balance and also getting energy flowing through the body. It's great teamed with either acupressure or acupuncture to get to awaken those meridians, place it on a key meridian and allow that energy to start flowing through all the systems of your body. It's also been found to be really useful for balancing hormones and temperature, so bringing balance into our life as well. Now one thing that's been particularly good for is pruritus, which is, I believe, the technical word for itchiness or excessive itchiness. If you find you're itchy all the time, ooh, I'm getting itchy as I talk about it, that tends to be, if you look at uh, metaphysicians or people like Louise L. Hay, that seems to be a lack of love flowing through our life. And remember, we were just talking about Brazilianite being great for bringing more love into what you do. So if you find that you're excessively itchy, then this could be a really good crystal to work with. Brazilianite is also really nice for helping you to honour your body, to make sure that you're always making decisions that are the best for your body in the long term rather than short term gratification, and making sure that you use your body and cherish your body and make the most out of this physical existence. So wearing Brazilianite on the body can be a really great thing. It can be really nice to you know do some affirmations about your body or some healing affirmations. Or in yoga, a really nice thing, this is great for the body and also for the heart and bringing more joy in the heart chakra, the soul plexus the chakra, place it on your, uh, on your heart or on your chest right here and lean back and just present out, out to the world and open up that chest and allow that energy to start flowing back into this love heart and this strength and joy solar plexus chakra area. Brazilianite is a beautiful crystal that helps to bring communities together and look after that importance of those communities and those relationships. It's a key protective crystal for beautiful relationships in family and community. So placing some pieces around the family home or near family photos can be a really good thing to make sure everything runs smoothly. Now if there are relationships in your life that you're not sure whether they're worth continuing or not, then meditate with Brazilianite and it can help to bring that knowledge of the heart again and really get clear on what you want to do in that way and work out whether it's worth terminating that relationship or walking away from that relationship or persevering and keeping that going. Now that can be in romantic relationships, 
family relationships or just any business relationship, any relationship whatsoever, <laughs> to be honest. Now, it also can help with communication. Now, not to express, you know, with, like we'd use a blue crystal for in the throat chakra, but again, to get really clear with the heart to know what exactly you want to say. This is great for parents that ha struggle to discipline their children because they don't feel, you know, empowered enough to do that. Brazilianite can really give them that strength. Now when it comes to children, children that are always whinging or complaining can really benefit from a bit of Brazilianite and also children that keep on getting wrongly blamed for things, especially at school, this can be really beneficial for them as well. On a deeper community level, this, can really, this crystal has a really strong connection to Lemuria because being in Brazil, that South American, that Southern Hemisphere energy, it can be a really good one for connecting with the wisdom of uh, Lemuria and those people. So closing your eyes, connecting with that wisdom can be really great. And what I've found, Brazilian art is really good if you either go into forests or big plains or mountains. It kind of opens spaces. Brazilian art really kind of cherishes there and helps you connect not just with that Lemurian energy and that natural energy, but the nature spirits, the fairies, the gnomes, and the different elementals that exist around those areas. So Brazilian art can be used to connect with your 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 physical family I guess you could say and also your spiritual and greater and your ancestral family in Lemuria each of the different zodiac signs have a different set of traits which can help them to prosper and thrive in this world now Gemini's are really good at being diverse communicators they're able to really get along with all different sets of people and gather all that information and see different points of view and even be a really great devil's advocate they can be rolling on the floor with some six-year-olds being pigs and in the next hour debate deep philosophical ideas with their professors at university. And because of this ability to gather information and see the different points of view, one of their strengths is unifying people. In a world where there's so much division at the moment, then unity is a really key thing. And Brazilianite helps to bring those communities together and make sure they get along really well. To make sure that the sanctity of relationships is protected and that the communication that happens between them is really effective as well. So if you're a Gemini or want to tune into your Gemini energy and help to bring people together by getting different points of view, then Brazilianite can be a really supportive crystal for you. Brazilianite is a rare crystal but it's definitely worth hunting for and once you find your peace it's a great idea to cleanse it first of all to bring it back to its natural balance. Now cleanse your Brazilianite by placing it out in the sun. Placing a crystal under the midday sun where it's bright and strong is never a good idea because many of them can, uh, their colour will fade or it will affect them in some different way. So put this out at sunrise if you're looking at bringing new things into your life or at sunset if you're looking at eliminating different things from your life like maybe walking away from a relationship and that's the idea that Brazilian has kind of helped to inspire you with through meditation. When you're also, once you've cleansed it, you want to bring in some other energies that really resonate with this. And I love to work with different animals. There's a couple of birds that are found in South America. The first one is the Quetzal. And the Quetzal is renowned for being a really spiritual guide. There's even deities that are kind of associated with it in Aztec and Inca mythology. And the Quetzal helps take you to riches, to help you take you to abundance and prosperity in all different ways. Now that doesn't necessarily just mean that that path will be an easy one, but it takes you through that journey to a great life. And Brazilianite is really, being a rare crystal, not everyone will find it or work with it, but those that do will abound for great things, and Quetzal can be a really good guide in that. The other bird is the Sun Conure. Now the Sun Conure is a yellow and green bird, kind of matches our Brazilianite. And the interesting thing about them, when they're raising their chicks, they actually will recruit other birds in the flock to help them with this. And so the Sun Conure, apart from having that real radiant, joyous parrot energy, really helps to, you know, has that community essence of working together for the benefit of all. Now plant-wise, the beautiful honeysuckle is lovely to work with. Gather some flowers, put them around a green candle and put your Brazilianite in front or hold your Brazilianite and light that and smell the perfume of the honeysuckle and really start to visualize an abundant life. This is a really nice ritual to do for an abundant life. Now that can be about money and finance but it can also be very much to do with you know abundance of friends, abundance of love, abundance of opportunities, abundance of fun, abundance of magic, whatever you want. Bringing those things in, that's really what the Brazilian energy is. And that honeysuckle was so sweet and it really has that sweetness of life. Now, occasionally if you look hard, you can find some honeysuckle essential oil and that can be another great thing to diffuse around, to smell while you're meditating or working Brazilian night, to bring that joyousness and that floral, fruity, lovely essence of life in. It really works well with Brazilian night. 
Astrologically, Brazil night does work well with the sun, and so Sunday is going to be the best day to work with your Brazil night. Sunday is meant to be a day of recreation, of joy and fun, and that's how life should be. And when we work with Brazil night, it'll really help that love and that joy to flow into your life, and so what you're doing is more enjoyable. It doesn't mean that you have to change your life totally when you work with Brazilian night. It just means that you add more love and joy into what you are doing. Now, have you worked with Brazilian Night? I'd love to hear about your experiences with it, and so would the rest of our crystal loving community. So please leave a comment in the section below. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to get updates of when I release my next one, please subscribe as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelow. Blessed be.